side word. Okay. Do you guys remember, not so long ago, we were talking about a CEO in Seattle, I think, um, called Dan Price. And he had cut his pay from 1.1 million to 70K and then flatlined all his employees at the same yeah, rate. Yeah, so everyone got paid the same. Do you remember? Yep. Update. Yeah. So Dan Price, at Dan Price Seattle on Twitter, this is the CEO, he said this recently. Five years ago, I cut my CEO pay from 1.1 mil to 70K so I could pay all my employees at least 70K. That's not good enough anymore. Today, I cut my pay to zero. I'm committed to laying off zero of our employees. It's not much, but what else can I do? We'll get through this together. Then he says, our COO, Tammy Kroll, the highest paid person at our company, is also cutting her pay from 275000 to zero. She already took a million dollar pay cut, leaving her Silicon Valley exec job exec job to come here wow we've lost half our revenue but together we're going to have zero layoffs wow what right that's insane it's incredible that's absolutely incredible but i what company is this oh i think he does like um because then he goes on to say on his twitter thing he says we're not hiring at the moment but um You know, we, you know, if he said something about let those credit card companies know that uh, we can give them less fees or something like that. So they must do it's a sales thing. Um, Could this be a marketing strategy? Yes, quite possibly. But it's a good one. It works. I'm I'm, I'm buying it. I'm just so curious. How, how does, how, how, obviously he has money or savings or some assets that are generating some revenue, otherwise he wouldn't be able to he go owned, down to zero. He owns a percentage of the company? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So if it's one thing saying, I take no revenue, but if he's taking a lot of dividends or something through profits, then you're not really taking no revenue. Right. But I'm assuming he's not taking profit from the company itself, but I'm just curious to know how much like other savings he has in the background. Yeah. Or like he's got to have shares something. or assets. But they're going to take a massive hit in this time as well. Like, it's, I'm really curious how this guy's managed to have his personal economy so well that he can just say, "I'm going, I'm to, going go down to zero dollars." And that woman, and my whole company's going to survive. Yeah, I know. And that woman as well. But that woman said she come from. You said she come from like a million dollars a year as well. Yeah, drop down to to go work for his company. So, well, so I'm assuming they've invested in stuff. But how are they? That's just. I don't know. And then someone was like, um, I'll be interested in, in helping you with funds. You're doing a great thing. And he's just like, um, he said, I think, I think, um, oh yeah. So someone said, Action Jackson um, said to him, Dan, if you need help, reach out. I'll be willing to chip into an empo- employee fund for the company. If we don't support corporations with leadership as dedicated to taking care of employees as yours is then what? We are doing it wrong. And he goes, I think we've really failed as a company if it comes to that. As a CEO, I'm relying I if I'm relying on charity from strangers, I'm not doing my job. So, um I don't know. I just think he really takes care of, it, of his employees. How many of the employees have taken pay cuts? Have no, they, they're any? still Oh, I don't know, but they're Like what, are you do you think um they're willing to like take a 5k um pay cut? I think if they it, would be. To save the company? Yeah, because yeah. they went from about 30 sounds, grand up to 70 or something. Yeah. But that oh. someone posted, now it's our turn, and they're talking about the richest eight men in the world. To contribute. Mm. But, and he's like, well, that would be nice. But <laughs> anyway, that's yeah. a update on Dan What's the man. His name, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see Kenny like where there are updates of old <laughs> articles though, no? Yeah, it's 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 uh it's just good to hear um p- people being selfless. Like I I'm interested like Max said I'm interested to see how, if he's if he anything in the background's happening. Mm-hmm. But like for on face value you just like this guy's a good guy, the COO seems like a good chick, mm. good person. It's just nice. It's just nice to hear, especially with all the doom and gloom mm-hmm. happening. We've had a pretty positive podcast so far. We have. We have. I like it. Mm. 
He says, uh, he me. says uh, to me, it's a matter of investing in your employees and they pay it back. In the five years since our 70 million K min wage started, our business has tripled in value. Our employees are happier and more engaged than ever. There you go. So mm. it's, it's so making it's smart business smart. decisions too. Yeah, it's not just the do good, get good kind of principle. It's not just do good because I'm good. But it, it might be that as well, but it works that way. So all these... If you're a douchebag out there, any douchebag CEOs out there, do good. You might do even better than you are already. Yeah, hundred percent. And he said, "I was, I could have been, I could have just been in the mindset as those top eight, and I was, I was kind of getting to that bit, and then I just changed it around, and now I'm way happier. And maybe they'll be extra happy." Hmm. In Ooh. saying that, I'm sh- they do do a lot of good. The eight men. Challenge accepted. In some way or another. <laughs> But yeah. No, they don't. They do. They've got like their fun, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> their funds. Like, like, like their fun. Cute They're probably funds. putting in money themselves as tax Cute little fund. Well, that's stu- true. It's like their piggy bank on the side, isn't it? Let, let's be honest. They're probably using it as a tax break. Uh, I, know yeah, Bill Gates, I know Bill Gates does. He said by the before he dies, he'll be giving all his money to like uh, either research into something to improve um, third world countries' lives. And also, like he, yeah, he's constantly giving his money away so that people's lives can be better. Do you, do you know why? Why? Because he's got that much money, he doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, but CJ, mm-hmm. like what I'm saying is that we we normally have the mindset of like, oh, these guys are rich; they should be doing something to help the human, the human race. And he is. And he is genuinely like Bill. Bill Gates does stuff. To constantly enrich people's lives, like just even through basic um, sanitation needs or um, uh, clean water. Uh, you know what I mean? Just like he doesn't have to do that. Like billionaires don't have to do that. But but like it's just good to see that they do do that. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Hmm. I, my my issue, I guess, with it all is more the system than the billionaires themselves. Mm-hmm. But I struggle to believe that a billionaire is I struggle to see how someone that can just acquire that much power and decide that they deserve to keep hold of that power is someone which is like a fundamentally good person yeah no oh. say that again uh, so like the idea that Bill Gates has got so got to a point where he's got so much money and then to get to that amount of money you have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing to get more and more money like mm. that's not something that happens by accident so we yeah. decided that it's better for the world or Ivory decided it's better for the world that he has that money to make the decisions what to do with it. Right. Which one is pretty egotistic and flawed in a lot of ways. Yeah. Or he done it for himself, which again is pretty because as soon as you acquire that much wealth, you've got to be taking it from somewhere. You don't just earn that stuff. You're taking yeah. it from somewhere. Mm. But do you think that some products like it's just a but like for him let's say it, that the money was a byproduct of what he just loved to do um or do you think he was like greed 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 step on people step on people to get it greed 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 step on people step on people cuz he seems more like I, it was a byproduct I think even if you don't even if you you don't like you don't just accidentally fall into that amount of money i don't think even if he doesn't directly step on people he has one <laughs> warning. <laughs> <laughs> he has had to step on people to get to that level. Like, there's no way you can like. He has to basically every value that anyone else is given to the business, they get paid less than the value the business is actually getting. Mm. Um, right. For for someone to get to that amount of money, it's not his work that's making that much money. Yeah. It's other people's work. And you can say he has the idea, but there's a lot of people that have great ideas and don't get paid for it. Like the whole point the reason we're where we are today as a society isn't because of one person's yeah yep 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 well, i get you. idea you know what i mean like we it's a it's a combination of a lot of people's idea then he comes out top with a billion and when we're talking about the amount of money we've got we're, we're not it's different if he has like a million pound or a few million even a hundred million like is sort of pushing it but when you're talking about like a hundred billion which is more than countries yeah we're suggesting that because he made a good product in microsoft he now deserves to have more power and more say than a whole country right yeah which he definitely right, doesn't right. He should, right. does not crazy. deserve so, that. Fair enough, like, do nice things with your money. Like, I'm happy that you're doing that. But the idea that it's, it's somebody can have that much power just because they played the system correctly 
means it's ah, the system. Ah, the system's flawed, flawed yeah. right? I like I like how you said that about Bill Gates. Like he's got a hundred billion. Like um, uh, New Zealand can go to Bill Gates for a loan. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like Bill Gates, like most countries can go to Bill Gates. For yeah, them. that's what I'm saying. Like that's incredible, eh? Like I um imagine Jacinta from New Zealand, the <coughs> Prime Minister, goes to Bill Gates and goes, "Oh, Bill, this freeway is costing more than I thought, mate. Yeah, can you get an extension loan? Can I get like an extra five hundred uh, five hundred million? He goes, "Well, all right. I'll- you are the mother of New Zealand. <laughs> I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Point five percent, cheap, cheap rate. Point five percent." What's point five of five hundred million? What's that? Is that that's um point five percent of five hundred million? Yeah. What would you like the interest rate? If the interest rate was point five, what would your repayment 50, just on interest? Fifty five million? Is that no, five million? Two point five million? Two point five million. Wow. Just on interest. There you go. <laughs> that's 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 sh- like shit investment, but yeah. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Big, big, <laughs> yeah. big risk. Uh. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> well, That's what like you'd do, wouldn't you? Be like, what if I put $5 million on black? How much would that be? <laughs> yeah. Someone gives you $5 million. <laughs> but just think about it. If I put $5 million on black, I could make $5 million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, <man. laughs> you could lose $5 million. Or that. 